Well, here we are again uh, in Cornwall, and this is uh, St Ives uh, in Cornwall. I'm, I'm at the harbour, and I've put a little bit of a wash on, and now I've got a build on that. And the the trick here, really, with watercolour, is to move around the painting so that you are you're allowing parts to dry, and you can come back to them. So we'll come to this headland here. I'll show you how easy it can be now with um, with just putting a suggestion of things in and letting it merge. So I put a little bit of green in there and now what I'm going to do is mix a bit of a mauve and this has got to be straight because this is the, the, the base. That's uh, with the water level so and then all you've got to do is let it all merge. And you see, that's, this is the beauty of watercolour. It's putting the water to work. And um, putting enough water on. People often get in trouble because they don't put enough water on. And uh, we can tidy that level up with some gouache. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. i got the camera in the way here, so it's not easy getting a straight line. But there we go. And that's, there we go, I think that will do. Now then, let's come back to, um, I think we'll just get a, a, a base of the boats in. Why not do that? And um, and again, with this, we can get one bit in first and then let it dry and come to another part then. So, all right, we'll, um, I might just get away with the actual carb here, carb in here and Oh, I'll leave that there for now and then we'll come on to this blue boat here and we only want a little bit of a suggestion here always got to keep in mind which way your light is coming from light is coming from my my uh, my right so let see I can come back to this now and I'm gonna mix um, a darker colour. I'll be ever so careful that I'm. Uh, yep, that'll do, that'll do. And we'll come on, see, and tidy it up later. All I'm wanting basically is. Um, and if it's a bit too dark, just soak it up a little bit. It's going to be a cast shadow there. there. So now I need to mix a, a warm sort of colour for the wall. The light is catching this end there. So this will be darker than that. Don't want it too dark, just, just a sort of mid-tone really at this stage. And you'll see why in a moment now we've got the light catching over there so it's all about light and thinking where shadows would be and um, there we go and what I might do uh, it makes a bit of green to go in here with that, which you, you get at the harbour, don't you, with the actual stonework. And that gives it a little bit of variation uh, as well. And I think I'll just leave that like that for now. Now I can come back to this boat because I had... Um, moved around a bit this will be dry enough to work on now so I want the light catching uh, the stern of the boat there and um, that will be in shadow now we're going to get some rocks in here mainly to balance the actual harbour wall and then that's about it for now, really. You can't do much more than that. I might as well 
bit of rock for there to run it off. This is going to cast a shadow of this boat here along there and this one too well along by here and now we can come on that blue to darken that blue a bit as well over there now and really that's all we need to do for now all right here we are for the next session and we're just going to build on this now and get sort of shadows in and uh, brickwork and what have you um Memorable time here, looking back, uh, in St. Ives. Uh, Gwyneth and I took a bit of a winter break, and we were down there. It had been a busy time in the church, and uh, uh, just tends to be like that when you're about to go on holiday. Everything sort of escalates, and people to visit, problems to sort out, what have you. And uh, I was really in need of, of, of a holiday, that was for sure. And uh, anyway, we're at the Harbour War just further up here. And there were toilets, and Gwyneth went to the toilet. And I um, sat on the harbour wall and then lay down, and uh, the sun was on my face, winter sun, and I was gone. I just went fast asleep. Unknown to myself, they'd freshly painted the toilets. Gwyneth couldn't get out, and so was shouting for help. I was uh, lost to the world. I, I wasn't aware of anything. And then in time, a lady came, and she uh, managed to get Gwyneth out, and... Uh, there we go. Enough to say I didn't near the end of that all day. Uh, all holiday, actually. And uh, I often said to Gwyneth with, four, with three daughters and Gwyneth, the times I've spent outside ladies' toilets, I could have lived another life. But there we go. That's, that's something else. So here we go. Now, now can you see how this is starting to come a bit? And you've got a bit of, bit of definition. I'm going to come over all this later. And I'll work it all. I can scumble a bit here, scumble a bit on there. But you can see how that is starting to take a little bit of shape now. And then let me show you a trick with waves, distant waves. And it's a key, it's, it's a neat trick, actually. This is what you'll do. Look, you just do that. Allow a gap for the white the, that's breaking. And then allow a gap again. And then you, al you alternate it like that. And here's the part. Get water, clean water, and put the water underneath. Just underneath that wave. Underneath that wave. And underneath that one. And what's happening then is you're getting a soft base where it's like rolling. And then a sharp on the top. But if I was to get a little bit of white, watch how easy this is now. And how convincing it is. There we go. So you just put that in between. And you're away to go. And you can just carry on with this and carry on with it. So. But it's a neat, neat trick in terms of our waves. The white, you might need to come back over it, of course, because of um, uh, it taking a bit of time to dry, but uh, I'm drying back a bit uh, now. I'm going to mix a little base for what you'd have here with the um, the wet sand at the back here. Yeah? And by doing this, that cab's going to stand out. And um, what I need to do then is get some clean water on the base of this. There we go, that's great. Some clean water like that. And um, if I, I'm getting a, a larger brush, if I show you a larger brush uh, like that, and if I put some light red with it and blue, don't know if I can actually do this with the camera in, in the way here, but we'll give it a go anyway. If I put the brush on its side, it's what they call dragging, where because the, can you see what's happening? Because the the paper is rough, watercolor paper, you've got you got hit and miss. And it can, then I'll get some water on and we'll just soak that away. But it's giving a little bit of um, a base for the foreground. And um, just one thing else before we, before we go away now and uh, call this session over. Let's get some uh, whites in here. So I'm using the gouache. 
and if I can, there we go, suggestion of a mast by there, and then with this one as well, we have um, boys bear, I should have been a bit more, and then we'd have a line probably up there. And there. Right down. You can see now how that is starting to take a bit of shape, that boat. And not a lot to boats, really. It's just... Um, now then, let's get a bit of nonsense here now with this boat. Um, here we go. Just a little bit of nonsense here. You might have um, but get uh, get some of the seaweed is hanging down from there. But how about that then? That's all we want to do for now. And I'll come back and I'll accentuate a lot of this uh, later on. And you'll see in the finished painting. Oh, I've been able to um, add to things. Get some figures up on here. It needs to, um, it needs to break it. Um, it's a little bit of nonsense, really, but just draws the eye there. So there we go for now. <laughs> 